Your privacy is about to get signed away. Have you even been told? Congress and President Obama are on the verge of passing a surveillance bill that many are calling the Patriot Act 2.0. It takes that eerie bulk data collection section of the Patriot Act, what the NSA has had a field day with, and sets it in stone. It's called CISA, the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act. The goal is to stop cyber attacks like the ones on Chase, Target, or Sony, which to be fair, probably made Sony more money off of the interview than it would have otherwise, but hey, it seems like a good idea. Protect our info from being hacked. But the devil is in the details, or anyone who bothers to read the bill. CISA facilitates and expands surveillance. It would allow companies to openly share your emails, phone calls, text messages, credit cards, social security information, anything with Homeland Security. And then Homeland Security curates it and immediately shares it to government agencies like the Department of Defense, the FBI, and of course, the NSA. It could also share that info with other companies if they think it poses any kind of cybersecurity threat. Problem is that under CISA, your info could be handed over for a whole host of other suspicious reasons. And that is open to interpretation. Privacy and civil rights groups say CISA is too vague when it comes to what is considered a threat and grants total access to your information without taking enough measures to protect it. The bill also overrides any other electronic protections Americans have under the law. But how is this different than what the NSA has already been doing? With CISA, government and business would be working closer together than ever to be in your personal business. But it's voluntary. If companies cooperate, they not only get access to the information sharing, they would be free of liability from, let's say, someone who wants to sue over privacy violation. Like the lawsuit Wikipedia and others have against the NSA right now. It's no wonder then why big telecom companies like Verizon, AT&T, and Time Warner have all come out in favor of versions of this bill. The thing is, the Patriot Act Section 215, the bulk data collection part, is expiring on June 1st. So if CISA passes, it could be its replacement. But lawmakers aren't ready to kiss the Patriot Act goodbye. Some want to rein it in a wee bit with the US Freedom Act, while others want to extend it to 2020. Even though Human Rights Watch called it a mass privacy violation that has affected media freedom, the public's right to know, and the ability of Americans to hold the US government to account. And even though the White House's own Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board said Section 215 has had minimal value in safeguarding the nation from terrorism and could not point to a single instance when the program made a concrete difference in the outcome of a terrorism investigation. So, can't we have cybersecurity, national security, and privacy? And as these debates heat up in Washington, one has to ask, who's asking us? This entire spying program has been done in secret and it was done intentionally and, and the electorate, the people of the country have been kept.